In the next video, I'll focus on AI. <coughs> AI. Hey yo. Hey yo. Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back to Hello Mendix. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how Mendix leverages AI for smart development. When talking about embedding AI into the Mendix platform, we have to start with Maya. Maya stands for Mendix Artificial Intelligence Assistance, and it's a collection of powerful AI-driven features. First, for smart development, providing guidance, assistance, and generation for developers. And second, for smart applications, providing resources, components, and controls for building smarter apps. In this video, I'll be focusing on smart development, showcasing how Maya can help you to become a better developer, build applications faster, and handle complex tasks with ease, ensuring the highest quality. As I mentioned, Maya for Smart Development provides guidance, assistance, and generation. Let's go through these three aspects and highlight the AI features across the platform, which help you to be more productive. Starting with guidance and the first feature, Maya Chat. Maya Chat is an AI-driven chatbot that provides quick, in-depth answers to the questions you may have during development. It's fully integrated with Studio Pro and accessible directly inside of the IDE with a single click. It's been trained on our documentation, forum, and Mendix Academy learning paths. Let's see it in action. Say I want to know more about the difference between persistible and non-persistible entities. Instead of going to docs and searching for myself, I can simply ask Maya directly in Studio Pro and get the answer immediately. I can even ask follow-up questions like, how can I edit the entities? It's worth mentioning Maya is context aware, which means that it's capable of handling conversations by retaining context from previous questions and answers. Next to the answer generated by Maya, you can see the source from which it was delivered. The answers are not just plain text either, but can be displayed using bullet points, highlights, code snippets, or for better readability. And let's not forget, you can ask it in any language you want. The next aspect is assistance. And here we have four features to talk about. The Maya Best Practices Recommender, Maya Logic Recommender, Maya Workflow Recommender, and the Maya UI Recommender. Let's go through each of these one by one, starting with Best Practices. It's an intelligent virtual co-developer assistant, which helps you to improve your app by inspecting your app model against Mendix development best practice inside of Mendix Studio Pro. It detects anti-patterns during the design and development stages. It highlights problems pinpointing the issue and then recommends a fix to resolve it. In some cases, it can even automatically fix these issues. Just like Maya Chat, this practices recommender is accessible directly inside of Studio Pro. It works both online and offline. No internet or signing in is required. The best practices recommender provides real-time recommendations and guides you step-by-step -step to resolve the issues. It's all to improve the quality of your application, its performance and security. To see it in action, we have to click on view best practice recommender and it's designed as a pane. The next My Assistance feature is the logic recommender which helps you to model and configure your application logic inside of Mendix Studio Pro. It gives you contextualized recommendations on the next best activity in your logic based on the already designed activities, parameters, and other context-related information. It's built with the machine learning analysis of over 12 million microflows, and it helps you with modeling and the creation of application logic with a 95% accuracy rate. Just like the others, it's available inside Studio Pro and it's displayed as a blue plus in the microflow. When you want to view recommendations on a particular flow, you can hover the mouse over that flow and click on the blue plus or navigate to it with the keyboard and press enter. The third My Assistance feature is a workflow recommender that helps you to model and configure your workflow in Mendix Studio Pro. Similar to the previous one, Workflow Recommender gives you contextualized recommendations on the next activity but in this case, in workflows. It's displayed as a small blue plus sign in the flow, and you simply hover your mouse, click on the plus icon, or navigate with your keyboard and press enter to see the dialog box. Finally, the fourth feature is the UI recommender, which helps you to build your application's user interface elements inside of Studio Pro. Just like the others, it's displayed as a small blue plus sign in design mode. All you have to do is hover your mouse, click on the plus icon, and my UI recommender will help you with the widgets and the creation of your screen. We've covered all the currently available My Assistance features. Let's move on to the last category, which is generation. When it comes to generation capabilities, Maya can generate application components and automate development tasks to make the development faster and easier. Currently, there are three main generation features. The Maya Translations Generator, Maya in Community, 
and the Maya Domain Model Generator. Since December last year, the Translations Generator is available in the experimental phase. It's an AI-powered tool in Studio Pro that you can use for batch translations and system text translations if you use Studio Pro 10.14 and above. Maya in Community summarizes lengthy Mendix Community Forum discussions into key points so you can get answers to your questions easier. To use it, simply click on the question you're interested in and then click Summarize in the top right corner. Maya will instantly provide you with a summary, saving you some time and effort going through the entire discussion. Last but definitely not least is the Maya Domain Model Generator. This feature is currently an experimental feature, but it's worth mentioning. The name speaks for itself. Maya Domain Model Generator is a tool that generates domain models. It helps you to generate entities and associations based on text input. To enable it, go to Edit, Preferences, Look on the new features tab and look under the Maya section. Once enabled, you will find the generate domain model option in the toolbar of a domain model. Then you just have to describe your application or its main goals in the chat box. Maya will use this information to generate a relevant model for you. For example, you could say to Maya, I want to build a bike rental application. There will be bikes and customers. I will rent the bikes to the customers. Please generate me a model. Then Maya generates the entities for bikes and customers and even sets associations between them. That's it for today. In the description of this video, you'll find some useful links if you want to know more about Maya for smart development. In the next video, I'll focus on smart applications and AI embedded across the entire STLC. That's all for now. Until next time, I'm Ryan Mocky, and this is Hello Mendix.